Welcome to a special edition of Red Hawk Radio's The Pursuit. I'm Sarah. Today we are asking multiple ACIT students about their New Year's resolutions. First joining us are Brittany and Alec, juniors at ACIT. Thank you for joining us. We're happy to be here. What are some of your New Year's resolutions for 2022? Um, I plan on going to the DR during spring break with my aunt. I haven't seen her since I was little, so it'll be nice to see her again. And then during the summer, I plan to start driving and get a job. Uh, this year, um, I'm going to be working in the gym a lot more often. I started going to the gym like in the beginning of the school year, and I'm just looking to keep on doing it throughout the new year. What are your expectations for the goals you've set for yourselves? My expectations are aren't too really not achievable because I know I can push myself to get stronger in the gym and like lift heavier weights. I expect to do you know driving and getting a job but for going to the DR I'm not sh too sure about that. My aunt's the one who's bringing me and she might change her plans. So. When do you plan on completing these resolutions you have set for yourselves? So I plan on getting the first one done by spring break and then the others by the end of summer. I I think there's no really a deadline for my resolution because as you get older you'll get more wise and stronger in the gym and yeah. Thank you for joining us today. Now we will be hearing the perspective of someone who knows a lot about dealing with students' mental health and how it relates to setting New Year's resolutions. Ms. Piggott, one of ACIT's guidance counselors, decided to join us for this interview. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Do you typically set resolutions for yourself? Um, not usually. Usually I um, don't, know. Would you consider setting your goals at the beginning of the year beneficial, and if so, how? Yes. Um, so this year I actually did decide to do a resolution. Um, my goal this year is to read one book um, a month. So. Um, I think this year it's good to do it at the fresh start of the year just because you're like new leaf turnover, new year, that kind of a thing. So we'll see if it works out. <laughs> As a guidance counselor, what are some of your suggestions for students who have resolutions pertaining to mental health? Ooh. Um, I think it's important to track, right? So like whatever goal that you're setting, make sure that you can measure that goal. Like some students are some, most people, you know, you have like a goal of, I'm going to eat better. Well, what does better mean? You know what I mean? So something that you can actually track and you can, you know, um, look to see like, am I eating better? You know? How might they go about completing these goals successfully? Um, I am a big like journaler or like um, like I constantly have a notebook with me and a paper or pencil and I'm constantly writing things down. So, um, that would be my, uh, suggestion would be to, you know, whatever that goal that is that you set, make sure you write it down and make sure you have a plan, um, on how you're going to achieve that goal and whether it's a to-do list or check marks or whatever makes you feel satisfied when you're doing that <laughs> action, yeah. um, that you're doing that. Do you believe setting New Year's resolutions are attainable to those who set them? I do. Um, I definitely think it does. It's not just setting that goal, right? Like you actually have to work to achieve that goal. Um, and I think sometimes we get wrapped up in New Year, New Me, that like you just pick something. So as long as it's something that you're willing to really work on and you really do want to change or you want to achieve, um, yes, I definitely think that that's something that can be done. Thank you. It was a pleasure having you here. For the crew and staff of The Pursuit, ACIT, and Red Hawk Radio, I'm Sarah. Keep pursuing what you love.